Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for take last time we reviewed the non retrofit superheroes by the developer optimus prime who is amazing developer and maintainer of oneplus 6 and 60 with his great support we got eight another rom called as rising os non retrofit version yes rising os is unbelievable conversion of most popular rom called as rise droid I was using the superheroes from the last few days because of crash dump on retrofit roms like the Evolution X and all retrofit roms. So I will not review them because that problematic retrofit partition scheme. Today we will see the quick flashing of normal Rising OS. We will quickly check out what's working in this rom, let I did the CPU performance and jitter test and its comparison with the other roms. I checked all the new additional features added in this rom. If you want in-depth features analysis then watch the first video of Rising OS for the Nothing Phone one its link is given under the video description to flash this rom you need the twrp installed on your phone download full rom zip file given under the video description now with the further do let's get started Flashing of this ROM is same like we did lots of time for the flashing of non retrofit custom ROMs. Boot your phone into the latest TWRP recovery. Its link is given under the video description. If you are first time flashing the ROM then another video given under the video description. In that video skip the MSM flashing step and follow a stop procedure. Now boot your phone in TWRP in the TWRP tap install locate your ROM zip file flash it Once done if you want the TWRP on your device then flash the TWRP installer zip now tap wipe select format data if it gets failed with the red line errors then go to the TWRP setting there check mark the RMRF setting now try to format data this time it will get successful now tap reboot and select recovery phone will reboots back to the TWRP now repeat the formatting step then reboot to system That says phone started to boot into the new simple elegant rising OS boot animation. After completing the setup phone boots to the new Ortus launcher introduced by the Rising OS team. This new pink Rising OS wallpaper with the Rising OS logo looks amazing. Let's jump to the about phone now. This ROM is amazingly customizable. I already changed lots of the things like this about phone header image. If you tap on it it goes under the about phone. Here at the top it's showing this is the Rising UI version 1.0. Under the device details we get some different information like device deep sleep percentage and up timing that showing the device total uses time. These things will be helps to understand your device battery uses. Under the Rising device information it's showing device details at the top. ROM is officially supported by the maintainer and developer Optimus Prime of Rising OS team. This is the Android 13 best build with the material clock history. Rising OS version is 1.0 Atlantis. Security patch of this ROM is latest April 2023. Build version of this ROM is 25th April 2023. Kernel version is Primus kernel 4.9.337. So this is the first release of the ROM completely based on the latest stable sources for the better stability and the performance. Now it's time to quickly overview what's working so you can easily confirm is it daily drivable build or not. Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi hotspots are working. Bluetooth is connecting with all the HD audio codecs like the SBC, AAC, LDAC, APTX, etc. GPS and NFC both are functional. Alert slider is working. VLT incoming and outgoing calls are working. ROM comes with the OnePlus dialer with the call recording function. We will find the recorded calls under the recording folder of file manager. Auto brightness is also working. Both the fingerprint and face unlock are working, but face unlock seems somewhat slower as compared to the fingerprint unlock. All the sensors like the accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscope are working. Other important things like ear proximity, microphone, ear speakers, loudspeaker, flashlight, multi-touch display are functional. Very important thing that is the safety net is passing so you can use banking and security application in the Rising OS without any issues. Device storage is encrypted which helps to protect our personal data if our pin locked device got stolen or misplaced. So let's check out the camera ROM comes with the OnePlus camera and the gallery. 
If you check the OnePlus camera, it's fully working with the, all the functional features like the night mode, portrait mode for the, both the front and selfie camera is working. I am surprised that this 6 year old device taking very good quality portrait and normal camera pics with this camera. Video recording as the working 4K 60 face recording, both the slow motion and time lapse are working. Panorama mode is working, Pro mode is also fully functional. So camera is fully stable here, same like the superior OS. OnePlus Gallery version is latest one. Now let's check out the performance of the ROM. I already told ROM is based on the, all the latest Android 13 and the kernel sources for the better performance and stability. And it fills with the every touch. Apps opening, closing, scrolling, swiping, RAM management, gaming, all the things are running very smooth on this ROM. If you check the refresh rate, it constantly runs on the 60fps. Even the camera application runs on the 60fps. When you ran the Geekbench 6 test, I got the score of 556 and 2021 for the single and multi-core respectively. Both of these scores are surprisingly higher than any of the retrofit and non-retrofit ROMs. Score-wise, this ROM ranks first place now. If you check the GPU performance on the Hulkan graphics driver, we got the score of 1935, I did the OpenGL test which is more than the 2K, it's not shown here. These scores are nearly same as all the other custom ROM, there will be a minor difference you may find between them. So final conclusion is that numerically though the CPU performance of this ROM is higher still the date as compared to the any other Android 13 custom ROM. But remember in real life all the ROMs can't be visibly comparable, all look smooth and fluid. Next test we did for the jitter test. Developer has already added the jitter test option under the OnePlus setting of the device. Jitter value remained between 1 to 0 0.5 milliseconds in the device, which is very good score. Less the value, more smoother scrolling and swapping will be found in the ROM. Now it's time to show you the amazing additional features that distinguishing this ROM as compared to the other custom ROMs. First is the new haptic feedbacks. ROM has the more smoother haptics for the different activities like swiping between the recent panel. New scrolling page end haptics when you reach the end of the scrolling pages. Brightness slider haptics, all this giving the amazing user experience that I never seen in any of the custom ROM. Under the main setting of the device and under the personalization tab, you get lots of the option to customize your device. But we will only check out the new features that I found as compared to the old build. Under the user interface option, lots of new about phone header images slider are available at the top of the setting panel. We can add the header image text which looks cool. These are some of the header images, take a quick look. Instead of manually adding the header images who gets the toggle to enable the randomly set header images option, this automatically changes the header images with the every restart of the setting application. By using the about phone style option, you can change the size of header images. Under the miscellaneous setting, you get some amazing advanced features. First is the familiar game mode which has some tunable setting to improve our gaming experience. Next you get the Google services toggle, this will help to improve the battery life if you disable the Google services like the Google Play services. Parallel application is another useful feature that help us to add the multiple users and the multiple duplicate applications. Smart charging is another setting by using this we can set the charging limit to extend the battery life. But remember here properly set the start trigger for the charging. If you set it to the higher than the discharge battery level, it will constantly make the noise and not charge the phone. System Manager is another new setting, here we get the different performance mode for the game mode and power mode. We get the different presets for the performance like the standard, interactive and fixed performance modes. System Aggressive Ideal mode helps to disable some things like the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile data, location that will ultimately help to save when the phone battery is going to die or if you want the aggressive battery saving. By using the weather setting, we can add the weather condition in the quick setting panel and on the lock screen. Some other spoofing settings are available like the unlock higher FPS, unlimited photo backup, Netflix app spoofing and spoofing for the all application to think we are using the Pixel phone. 
I don't know these are working or not. Test yourself and let us know in the comment section is it working or not. Android P animation toggle seems not working. It doesn't changing the default animations of the device. Another attractive features added under the quick setting panels like developer added the custom header images for the quick setting panel which you are seen in the old Android 10 or 11 custom ROM. These are some attractive header images for the quick setting panel. Quick setting panel, background transparency and hide label option helps to improve the background look of QS panel. Under the status bar setting, now we guess the setting to show the WAFA standard. If you enable this toggle, we guess the WAFA standard number like WAFA 4, 5 or 6 in small letter near the WAFA signal. We guess the background chip setting for the status bar time which looks cool. Under the notification option, we guess the colored QS notification icons. That will add the colored look for the icons of notifications under the notification panel. Instead of these ROM exclusive features, who gets the full screen application under the display setting. Next exclusive feature called as the desktop mode is available under the display setting. By using this, who can project the phone screen on the PC using the USB cable or on the Android TV using the HDMI cable. I didn't test it. Is it working or not? Let us know in the comment section. Is it working for you or not? Under the device extras, who gets the, all the OnePlus features that you have seen already from the long time, like alert slider, custom actions, power efficient work use, high brightness mode, microphone gain control, and vibration control. Instead of these, all the custom features, who gets the Autos launcher. This is the new launcher only available in the Rising OS. Though this is a new launcher, it has all the important features like the theme icon for the app dock and the application drawer. Like the new advanced at a glance information is also available on the home screen. Recent panel features are added, taskbar, hidden and protected application options are available under the setting. Overall, it is a feature packed launcher. Under the wallpaper and style application, who gets some nothing phone when exclusive wallpapers along with the rising beauty wallpapers. Now it's time to tell you the bugs and the issues. All known issue of white wine is on L3 is still persisting here so we can't able to stream the Netflix and the Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution. Next issue is for the Google Photos unlimited backup. It's not working even if you enable the spoofing of Google backup under the miscellaneous setting of the personalization tab. These are the only bug I face today. You may or may not face any of these bugs. Accept this, let us know in the comment section if you face anything else. Rising OS is highly customizable ROM with a great performance which is giving the tough fight to the other retrofit ROMs with its amazing performance which you already tested with the Geekbench test and some ROM exclusive features like the desktop mode, new haptics and the new custom features. So I definitely recommend you to try this ROM at least once for your device. That's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.